because of the COVID pandemic, this year we had to cancel Vicky Cleary Day. The fourth Vicky Cleary Day, dedicated to our sister Vicky and the women taken by violent men. But we do hope you will be with us on Vicky Cleary Day at the Coburg Football Ground next year in 2021. My sister Vicky was attacked by her ex-boyfriend on the 26th of August 1987 as she parked her car outside the kindergarten where she worked. Vicky was 25 years of age. The man who attacked her with a knife had a history of violence against women, a hidden dark history that we knew nothing about. I vividly remember being in the hospital three hours after Vicky was attacked and watching the doctor tell my mum that her daughter was dead. I remember my mum wailing as I cuddled her and she said, Philip, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? In the courtroom, under the defence of provocation, the killer was turned into a victim and my sister was transformed into a provocateur. I watched in disbelief when the foreman of the jury declared that the killer was not guilty of murder, but only guilty of manslaughter. In fact, due allegedly to the provocative behaviour of my sister as she parked her car and fended off her attacker. We watched then in disbelief again as the killer was sentenced to three years and 11 months. Little did we know that woman after woman was being killed in circumstances like those in which my sister died, only to find killer men being found not guilty of murder due to provocation. Thankfully, we brought down the law of provocation in 2005. It's astounding that we don't have the actual numbers. We have the numbers on the road toll, but not the numbers in relation to the homicides of women by intimate partners, invariably in the context of separation. That's not explaining the violence away, simply a way of saying that as women have expressed their desire for independence, they've been met with deep and dangerous resistance at many levels in our society. We need to campaign for gender equality and we need to accept that gender inequality is the backdrop to the violence being perpetrated against women. It's now time to say sorry to warrior women like Vicky Cleary, women who cast aside male coercion and control in the search of freedom and equality, women belittled and denied justice by the patriarchal provocation law and other such laws. Open up your frozen eyes and let them finally see that stripped of her blindfold, just Asia will be free. She